You know what? You uh, you sent me a PowerPoint, and I have this uh, up here, and it's got that real-time configurable dashboards. And one of the things that always drives me crazy going to warehouses – well, it's been it's been a while since I've seen like uh, somebody had me a piece of paper, but somebody had me a piece of paper that had like 40 columns and these little it was like an Excel spreadsheet or something. It maybe a spit out of a system. I don't know, but it had so much. And I looked at it. I was like, I, what am I supposed to do with this? I'm like, I, I, I like the idea of like being able to configure it for those KPIs that I care about. I don't want to measure everything. That's just me. Tell me the four or five or seven things that really matter that tell me my my uh, warehouse is moving in the right direction, that things are w- working well. And I see also, I'm just looking in here, it says orders with issues. I also love the idea that I don't find out about the issues in next week's report. I find out about them real time. Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. And and then, you know, the, the point, you know, that you made it actually kind of a nice uh, transition to this notion of another component. We talked about the real-time visibility to uh, capacities and constraints and uh, conditions out there and then um, the always on nature of the of the WES uh, but now I also we talked about looking at a, a table of 40 rows of information or whatever what do I do I think that that is <laughs> and it's you, all it's all in the past too it's, it's a, in the past but I think you know I think it brings up a point there which is you know today even with high end, higher end WMSs, there's, this is one of the learnings and insights that we have. There's still a tremendous amount of decision making that is being done by human beings. And so just as the manager, whoever you were talking about there in your example, you know, staring at a 40 row spreadsheet or whatever, that's the same. You see, you see the same thing today of managers and supervisors staring at computer screens, trying to figure out what the right thing to do is next. And here's the reality. Every time you do that, you would, first off, you introduce some latency into the system because it takes time to look at those different screens and to think about it and to make decisions and scribble some things down on a piece of paper to remind you this needs to be taken care of or whatever. Okay. And then simply, in most cases, there's no way a human being can make the optimal decision (laughs) in the same way that a computer can because, you know, even if you're a really smart guy or gal, you know, there's just too much data, too much to try to process at one time. And so part of the, <coughs> excuse me, part of the uh, uh, capabilities of the smart WMS is the much more advanced software-based decision-making. And so things like order batch optimization, how, 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 given a given block of orders, what's the best way to most effectively execute that out on the software floor? What we think is, is absolutely huge is this notion of the autonomous warehouse. That's a term Gartner has used, others have used it as well. But it talks about being able to automatically release work on, a, you know, without the need for a wave planner or uh, uh, inventory expediters or all the kind of people that you see often involved in, in these kind of uh, uh, decisions about what work to do when. So, you know, work is released on a variety of attributes, you know, things like, you know, the order priority, the inventory and resource availability, what kind of optimization opportunities are there? You know, the, the bigger the order pool, the more optimization opportunities you have. Uh, because there's just more 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 data to be optimized, uh, or uh, you know conditions to be optimized. But also you've got you know, but you can't hold on so long. You're not getting the, the the throughput out the door. Carrier cutoff time. This is a huge one. I mean, even into the, it's sophisticated warehouses today, at four o'clock or five o'clock when the UPS or the FedEx or whatever truck is leaving, you often see. And we've made commitments via e-commerce is going to ship today. You see a certain amount of chaos going around trying to figure out if all the orders that need to go on that truck have been on the truck and and what to do about it. With what we're talking about here. We're saying, okay, listen, we know this is the work. We know how long it's going to take to pick and transport um, that work, uh, th- those orders, you know, to, 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 to the shipping dock or whatever. So the work is going to automatically release itself at the beginning of the day. We're more concerned about optimization. We still got a lot of, you know, decent amount of time so we can focus on doing it the most efficient we can. But as you go throughout the day, that needle starts to change from the focus on efficiency and and cost to efficiency on customer service and making sure those items are on there. And the system just does that automatically. It's, it's configured to, to, to take those into, con, uh, in, into consideration. And so now those orders are getting on the trucks automatically without the chaos and without the, the, you know, the, the, what's the, just the difficulty that's going on out there. This is just whole new, this is step change capability here. I mean, we're talking about a system that's kind of self-learning and uh and 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 optimal on how it releases work and this is just a, not a concept we've had 
uh, in distribution software before, and this is what really is what defines what we're calling the smart warehouse. 